Today's the day. My Harlow and Fox is here. I am over the moon. I'm really excited. I have my dream gown, my dream robe, Cassiopeia. This is heavy. This is, there's a lot of weight to this. Um, this was bought for me from my husband. He bought this roughly about five weeks ago until it got here. So it took around five weeks, which is super fast because on their website, it is estimated to take about eight weeks because of all of the hand stitched details that have to go into it. Um, as soon as I pulled it out of the mailing package, there is a note um, for my husband and for myself just saying thank you so much for your order. You're building such a wonderful collection. All the best, Leanna. As I've said before, Harlow and Fox customer service right up here. It's top notch. I mean, the owner is so sweet, so nice. When you order from them, you feel like you're ordering from a friend. Everything is personalized. It's really lovely. I mean, even the emails my husband got, he was like, oh, this lady's this lady's really nice. Are you guys like tight or something? Like he, and I'm like, no, she's just that great. She's, she's really good at her job. So she makes it a great experience. So if you're on the fence, do it. Order anything from them. Highly recommended. Before I open this, I would love to show you how to make this cocktail. It is Prosecco, black pepper, simple syrup, and bergamot liqueur. I think it's pretty tasty and uh, I'm about to show you how to make it. Now that I'm in the bar slash dining area, I can make this cocktail for my awesome robe that I'm really excited to unbox. Okay, so it's a Prosecco-based cocktail and it has Italicus, which is a bergamot liqueur. I picked this up a few weeks back I've always been curious about it. I love bergamot and I am happy I got it. And this is the first time using it in a impromptu cocktail. So I'm gonna tell you how this goes. So for this cocktail, I ended up making black pepper simple syrup. Half a cup of water, half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon and a half of black pepper. Bring it to a boil, then turn it down for a simmer for five minutes. Turn it off, cover, and let it steep for as long as you want to. I like black pepper a lot, so I let mine steep for about four hours, and let me tell you, it smells like black pepper. It's gonna look like black tea. Um, yeah, and then some fresh squeezed lemon juice. I know that lemon, bergamot, and black pepper are wonderful in perfumes, so I am hoping they work in a cocktail. So you're gonna have your shaker. I have mine with ice already in there. I'm gonna put two ounces of the Italicus bergamot liqueur in the shaker. I'm gonna add half an ounce of the lemon juice. And I love black pepper, so I'm gonna go for one full ounce of the black pepper simple syrup. I'm going to cap this, give it a good shake for roughly around 30 seconds. Okie doke. I am going to, <laughs> okie doke, I'm going to strain this about halfway up. I have my La Marca Prosecco. I'm just going to top that off. It has a nice summery smell to it. And let me see how I did once it stops bubbling so much. All right, there we go. I do like this. I think it works. It's definitely on the lighter side. I prefer my cocktails pretty strong. Um, so it is sweeter, obviously. I used a full ounce of simple syrup, but there is, I think, what saves it for me is the spiciness of the black pepper. And I do, I have an affinity for bergamot, anything bergamot, I love it. So I'm pretty partial to this. 
If you try it, let me know what your thoughts are. Now on to the fun part. I am so excited to unbox this awesome robe. Here we go. Oh yeah, so one thing, when I found out my husband ordered this for me, I wanted to add the Callista face mask to the order. And um, Leanna was so nice, she was like, oh no, I'll just throw it in because you've ordered so much from me this year that this is on me. And that was really sweet and I love it because we're gonna have to be wearing this for a while, let's be real, and um, might as well look good, right? Okay. This might be extra feeding, just in case. Yep, extra beads. That's nice, that's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna try not to knot this up because she had it all nice in there and I just set that aside. Oh man, okay. This is gorgeous. So instead of undoing this on camera, I am just gonna come back with this on, okay? Uh, hello, yeah, it's perfect in every single way possible. The gown speaks for itself. It is, every, everything like I mentioned earlier is hand stitched. There is gold glass beading with pearls at the very end. It also comes in a silver. I ordered the gold because I am, even though I am fair, I am, I have a lot of warm undertones in my skin and in my hair. I love gold. Um, the silk trim is also of like a warm taupe color. It's very heavy, but not heavy where it's uncomfortable, but it's heavy as in like, wow, this is expensive and regal and luxurious and beautiful and frivolous and <laughs> everything you can possibly want from a gown. I will for sure wear this as outerwear over a dress, probably like this, um, out to an opera or a symphony or somewhere where I can just prance around in this amazing gown. I mean, the detailing is, it's breathtaking. I know on camera, because I've already looked, it looks great on camera, but in person, this is, yeah, this is something. So, Leanna did tell me that I should store this in a box instead of hanging it up because the sheer weight of it can cause the fabric to stretch out over time. Also, I would imagine you'd want to put this in a box anyway because you never know, you don't want one of these beads getting stuck on a hanger and you're moving stuff around and it rips off or it rips the material or something happens. You know, it's just, with all this dangling, why risk it? So, I will be storing this in a box for sure. I will probably put some cedar blocks in there just to keep any kind of hungry moths away. Besides that, I don't really know what else to say. This speaks for itself. Um, typically this does come in a medium size. For me though, she was kind enough to size it down a little bit because I am, I'm pretty small. I'm five feet four inches and I'm usually about a US size two, so I'm pretty petite and I really feel like a medium would probably be a little too long. I think that this is the perfect length for me and the perfect amount of fabric because it is still oversized. Um, you know, it's got that 1930s kind of a cut to it. Um, so it's still, it looks, it looks tailored for me because it was and I absolutely, yeah. I I don't know. It speaks for itself. I will have pictures on my Instagram and probably reels of it because this is my new favorite thing for sure. Thank you so much for joining me on my Cassiopeia unboxing and brief review and impromptu cocktail. As always, be happy, be healthy, be well, be nice to each other. Cheers!